What's up YouTube, it's Ben, and in this video, we're gonna talk about your non-negotiables. All right guys, my name is Ben Nader. If you already follow my content, you already know that I talk about real estate, investing, recruiting, entrepreneurship, business, all things of the sort. If you like that kind of stuff, you definitely wanna to subscribe to the channel and you also wanna be in my Facebook group called Recruiter Empire. There is a link in the description of this video. Click that link, we definitely want you as our brand new member. All right, so getting right into it about your non-negotiables. Chris Voss, the author of Never Split the Difference. He says, that nobody wins unless everybody wins in a negotiation. And if everybody wins, that means nobody wins. Because if everyone wins, how can you win, right? It doesn't matter. You are in a negotiation. If you're in a negotiation, somebody's gotta come out on top. Somebody has to get an edge. Someone has to win something off the top and get a better edge than the other party. But if everybody wins, then you've negotiated away something that you didn't want to negotiate away. Now, at first I thought, hmm, that's really interesting philosophically. Then I thought that's actually really, really powerful in life and in business as far as non-negotiables go. So going off of what Chris Voss, the expert on negotiation says, if you're negotiating with yourself, which you do on a daily basis, like a million times a day, whether you realize it or not, you're always pretty much losing if you negotiate with yourself. I'm talking about those little conversations that you have with that voice in your head about, mm, should I go to the gym right now? I don't know. Should I take today off? It seems like I did a lot of work yesterday. Today seems like a good day to chill out. I don't know. Mm, I think I deserve this. I think I deserve that. And you rationalize and negotiate. So let's make a prime example. There are times when I negotiate with myself and I'll think to myself, hey, hmm, you did a lot yesterday. You should probably just chill out and take today completely off and do nothing. No, I have learned to stop negotiating with myself by simply setting non-negotiables. Like I said earlier, if you're negotiating with yourself in any way, shape or form on anything big or small, you will always lose that negotiation because you're never going to win. Okay, if you're negotiating with yourself, it doesn't matter, you'll lose every single time. You're gonna lose out on profit, you're gonna lose out on productivity, you're gonna lose out on your time, and you might even lose out on some of your self-respect. This is the exact reason that I've put in place my own non-negotiables, and you should too. So for instance, on my calendar, I put in big, blue, bold font, items that are simply there you can't miss them even if you tried to miss them and two i'm now hardwired to just know that those are absolutes they are non-negotiables 100 percent. i will never negotiate away that item that's on the calendar period end of story i'll give you some examples of my non-negotiables every single day right so one make a youtube video two Check on D GDP and unemployment rate, like nerdy little numbers like that, things I wanna study, okay? Three, going in and learning something new. That could be reading or listening to an audiobook for 30, 40 minutes a day or an hour, whatever it is that you wanna do, right? The fourth one, creating more content for Recruiter Empire, doing something of that nature. Those items are non-negotiables. They're always on my calendar, they're always must-dos, and there's stuff that I just cannot get away i can't negotiate these things i can't argue myself out of it i must do these things now the big secret that nobody realizes on how to actually execute this is to set up your non-negotiables on a calendar somewhere systematic that you see them that you know that they're there way in advance way before the time period in which you know that your mind is going to start negotiating and rationalizing why you shouldn't do that one thing or why you should take that day off or why you should just not be able to do that other thing that you had planned right just do these things set them up in advance so that they're already there they're set it's ready to go you have no other option there is no negotiation look your mind is predisposed to find the easiest way to do life per se right so with that being said your mind is constantly in negotiation with you about doing the things that are critical to your success even, right? 
They could be the most important things that'll go make you a million dollars and your mind will try to negotiate you away from those things because life wires us in ways that program us to do things on easy mode, not hard mode. And the scariest part about this is that your mind is really, really good at creating semi-valid arguments to yourself on why you shouldn't do certain things. You can actually trust your mind partially on maybe why or why not you should or shouldn't do something. And that's really, really scary. This is why you need to set the non-negotiables and let your overbrain, let your overdrive kick in and go, no, I'm not negotiating. This is what's happening no matter what. Just like I told you my non-negotiables, those are only some of them. I would tell you right now to sit down after this video and write down at least four non-negotiables that are happening every single day. They can be small, they can be huge, they can be whatever you can do in that singular day. Just make sure they are non-negotiable. They happen every single day. In fact, what would be even more fun is if you write down your non-negotiables down in the comment sections. I wanna see what your non-negotiables look like. What are you doing on a daily basis that you will not negotiate away from, that you won't let your mind trick you out of? I wanna see those down in the comment section. All right, so after you put those down in the comment section, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Definitely join our Facebook group, Recruiter Empire, link down in the description of this video, and I will see you next time.